channel, I am Marisita Colors in English. My friends, today we have a little snow here in Germany and I want to show you to my new cape or poncho that I make in knitting. I begin here for the neck. I made some rows and after this I begin with the increases. At the end, I make this beautiful rip stitch. My poncho only has a shoe in the lateral, and I use the needle number 8 millimeters because the yarn was thick. Here in the neck, I make only with the neck stitch, and it's like a little roll. So now we will learn to make this nice poncho or cape. For the pattern, I will use this teeny yarn and the needles number 4,50 millimeters. We will use a scissor and a big needle for sew the lateral. I will make the pattern with 20 stitches. For calculate the yarn for 20 stitches, I only involve 20 times my needle with the yarn. I let some centimeters and I don't let the yarn calculate and I let the yarn out of the needle. And here I will make the 20 stitches. So I open the yarn, I help with my fingers and with the needle from the center to the left, to the right, and into the needle. Now we have two stitches. Again, we open the yarn, and from left to right, we make the stitch on the needle. Like this, I will make 20 stitches. Here I have 19 and 20 stitches. My poncho has 42 stitches that were 42 centimeters of white in the beginning. In this row, I will make only the knit stitch from left to the right we insert the needle into the stitch we pass the yarn and this yarn stay into the needle we pull a little the yarn and again from the left to the right we pass the yarn and this yarn stay into the needle of the right this is a knit stitch punto derecho en español Like this, I will make all this first row of knit stitches. Always is from the left to the right that we must pass the needle. This is the last stitch, the last knit stitch. This is the first row. When the yarn of the begin is in the right part, this is the front of my thread. We turn the knitting work 
And now I will make four stitches. Punto revés en español. From this row, the first stitch I don't make. I only pass to the needle of the right. From the right to the left, we pass the first stitch. And now I will make four stitch. From the right to the left, we insert into the stitch, we pass the yarn, the needle back, and take the new yarn. And this go out. Again, from right to the left, we involve with the yarn, we back the needle, and this new yarn stay in the needle of the right. This is the poor stitch. Like this, I will make all this row. This is the punto revés en español. Now, almost I finished the second row. And I make the last full stitch. Always I pull a little for that my border is uniform. We turn the knitting work and look. This is the front of our work. From here, you can see how many centimeters make your pattern. Here I have 20 stitches and I, if I want 42 stitches. Here I have 11 centimeters or 11 centimeters, 22 centimeters. Three times my pattern is 33 centimeters. 60 stitches and now I have almost the four times the pattern that are more or less the 42 stitches. So they are four patterns of 20 is 80 stitches. With this yarn and with this needle, I must make 80 stitches for half the size of my poncho. And here only we will make the knit stitch. Always the first stitch, only we pass, like the knit stitch. And here from the left to the right, we make the knit stitches. In my poncho, I made 8 rows of 42 stitches every one before I begin with the increase. Here I make the row of the pull stitches. Here you can count. Here I have four rows of the pull stitches. That is the same, the four rows of the knit stitches. Here I will show you how I must make the increases. The first stitch we pass, I make the second knit stitch, and here I will begin with the increase. I make the first knit stitch. I don't let out the stitch of the left. I make the needle into the back. And I catch the needle over the stitch from the back and I make again the knit stitch. So this is one increase. Again two knit stitches and in the third we make the increase. We make the knit stitch and we make the needle into the back. And I catch the stitch, we insert the needle, and we make a knit stitch. This is one increase. In one stitch we have two stitches. We repeat two knit stitches, and in the third we make the increase. We must repeat until that we finish this row. Two knit stitches. And the increase. Here I made two knit stitches, so here I will make one increase. And 
and I give you one tip. In the last stitch, you don't make the increase. You can make in the previous, but not in the last. Thus, or this depends on the stitches that you have in your thread. So, now we finish the increases. Now I have 18, 20, 24 and 26 stitches. I have 6 stitches plus from the 20. And here only we make the pull stitches without increases. This is one of the increases. So we only make the pull stitch. The increases are only into the front of our work. So only we make a stitch by a stitch. Punto revés or pull a stitch. Now I finish the row of the pull stitches and we turn the knitting work. I give you one tip. You must use number, even number in your thread. For example, 20, 24, 26, 30, 40, 50 and so on. Now the next two rows I only will make a stitch over a stitch. The increases I will make every four rows. So I will make the third and the fourth row. The first stitch we pass and we make the knit stitches. Here I finish the knit stitch and I will make the pull stitch. This is the fourth row and after this I will make the increases again. Here I finish the pull stitch. Here I have four rows after the first increase. Look, it's like a cannot. You can make a yarn for that you see where is your increases. So here I will make again the increases. Here in the previous increase I make every two stitches one increase. And here I will make every three stitches. So the increases are every two, every three, every four, every five, every six, and so on. Until that you have the white of your poncho that you prefer. So here I will make three neat stitches. The first stitch we pass. And here I will make the increase. We make a knit stitch and without let the stitch of the left, we make the needle into the back and we insert the needle into the stitch. We pass the yarn and we made another stitch. So this is one increase. Again, three knit stitches. And in this stitch, I will make the increase. And like this, I will repeat every three stitches, one increase until that I finish this row. Here I must make, after the three knit stitches, I must make the increase and I only make the rest of the stitches. And here we finish the row of increases. This is like the first row of the four. Rows. We turn the knitting work and I will make the second row. And only we make a stitch over a stitch. The first stitch we pass and we make the pull a stitch. The second, third, and fourth row are without increases. This is for that increases are not together. Here I have the four rows after the last increase. And 
I begin with two stitches, one increase. After this, three stitches, one increase. And here I must make every four stitches, one increase. We pass the first stitch. And we must have four knit stitches. And in the next stitch, I must make the increase. We make the knit stitch. We don't let the stitch of the left. And we pass the needle to the back and we insert the needle in the same stitch. And we make the knit stitch. Again, four stitches. Always knit stitches. And in the next we make the increase. Like this I will repeat until that I finish this row. Row hilera en español. Here I make the last increase and we make the rest of the stitches. We turn the knitting work. And only I will make the pull stitch. I must make this second row, the third and the fourth row before the next increase. This is the fourth row. And in this row I must make one increase. So here is every five stitches I must make one increase. The first we pass, we make the second, third, four and five knit stitches. And in the next I must make the increase. Again, five knit stitches. And in the next we must make the increase. Like this, you will continue until finish the row. Here I made the five stitches, so I make the increase and I make the rest of the stitches that I find. We turn the knitting work and we make the pull stitch. I must make four rows for make the next uh, the next increase. Here I will show you in my poncho how I make the increases. I made until every eight stitches one increase, and from here in every row I have. 132 stitches that was almost 124 centimeters of white. I only make 13 centimeters with 132 stitches without increases. And after this, I begin with the rib stitch to pull and to knit stitches. All together, or oh, only the rib stitch, I have five centimeters, and all together from the neck are forty centimeters of long. You can make more long, or you can make more wide too. When you have the wide that you prefer, you stop the increases and only make rounds or rows with the same stitches. So, I will show you how, how I begin the rib stitch. I make two knit stitches, I make the yarn into the front and I make two pull stitches. Again the yarn into the back and I must make two knit stitches. And I must alternate the two pull and two knit stitches. You must make this rib stitch when you have the long of your poncho that you prefer. You must begin always the 
rip a stitch in the front of our work. So I make the two knit stitches and I finish with two pull stitches. Return the knitting work. If I make two pull in the front, here in the reverse are two knit stitches. And where you find the pull, you must make the pull stitch. And when you find the knit stitch, you must make the knit stitches. Always alternating two and two. Here I make the sixth row of the double rib stitch to pull and to knit stitches. I finish with two pull stitch. I make this rib stitch for that my poncho don't roll in the end. If I make only the knit stitch, it's like the neck that you can see in the beginning of our poncho. Here I make two pull stitch. Punto revés en español. And two knit stitches. That is punto derecho en español. Here I make the last two pull stitches. Here I have 132 stitches. Always I pull a little for that my border is uniform. Now we turn the knitting work. And this is my front because here is the knit stitch. And here you can see the neck. Like it's a little like a scarf neck. Or collar scarf. Here I will close the stitches. The first we pass and I will make one knit stitch and we will close the first pass over the second stitch and make a little loose, not so strong. And we close the first stitch. In this row only we will use the knit stitch. So we make one knit a stitch and the first stitch pass over the second. Another knit a stitch and the first over the second. Like this, I will close all the stitches. I close my poncho in the front of our thread. Here I make the last knit stitch and the first over the second. And here I open a little the last stitch, we cut the yarn and this yarn that we cut we pass into the last stitch. Like this you close all the threads in knitting. I push a little for that my last stitch is uniform. Now I will close the lateral. I will use the big needle. I will sew for the front of my poncho. Here is the rib stitch. So I pass the needle front in front. And I back for that my sew is secure. Here I go again to the front. I will try to find these horizontal stitches for join our thread. And in the front I will find to the horizontal stitch. We must to open a little the stitches. So from in front 
we begin to see our poncho. I give you a tip, always is better to compare the thread, the poncho, the two edges, because sometimes the threads move a little when we sew. So here I will begin with the knit stitch, we finish the rib stitch, so we open a little every stitch of the border and we find a horizontal stitch and we try to make front in front and make a little loose not so strong this year so like this you must continue until finish the join of the poncho here almost I finish look I make a little loose not so strong and here always I compare edge with edge you can make this poncho for all the size only you must make the begin with the size of the contour of the head of the person that you want to make this poncho. If it's for a kid, you can compare with the contour of a Benny hat. Here almost I am in the edge and I try that is uniform and I make front in front the needle. And now I can pass the needle to the reverse and here I make secure my yarn here I make like a loop and I pass the needle in this loop and here I only lost the yarn into the reverse of my poncho Look, the needle don't pass into the front, only in the center of the stitches. When you see that it secured your yarn, you can cut. And like this, you will lost the another yarn. You will sew the another yarn. And we have ready our beautiful poncho or cape that I make knitting. You can do this poncho for all the size only you must make the white of the collar of the person that you want to make this poncho i want to invite you to subscribe here in my channel marisita colors in english is total free and you can find me too in facebook instagram twitter and pinterest if you like this video you can give one like and share it with your family and friends Thank you very much and we see us in my next crochet or knitting pattern. Chao, chao. Bueno, aquí estoy en el centro de Stuttgart, en un poquito de esta bella ciudad.